Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of After Class Lars Path. God, I love this update. Hope you all have been doing well. I do love making videos for you guys. I'm st we're st we're breaking records every, every month on this channel. Uh, it's like every 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 month I surpass the views of the previous month. It's it's pretty awesome. God, just yesterday you guys watched 197 hours worth of content for my channel. I, I ah, crazy. You know what? I'm doing my best to keep you guys satiated. So here we go. We're gonna do more after class. Ah, uh, yeah. This is just right after Henry asked Lars to move in with him. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to look. Blah blah blah. I'm getting to the end of the video already. Sorry, it's kind of early still. Okay, here we go. Please enjoy. All right, alarm chain. You're up. Okay, let's do it. Don't forget to turn off the TV and the lights when you're about to sleep. I already locked the door, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Good night, Henry. Good night, Lars. See you tomorrow. Yeah. You headed to your room and went to sleep. That was quick. Hmm. That's enough TV for tonight. Click. Huh. I'm tired, too. Maybe you should go to sleep now. He closed his eyes, ready to go to sleep. Right. The lights. Lars got up and switched off the lights. Ah, better. <laughs> oh, day five, okay. After class. I like the transition screen is really is really cool. Ah, stuffy. Why does it feel so heavy? It's kind of hard to breathe. Lars is laying on top of him. Oh my god! You opened your eyes and saw someone's arm resting on top of your chest. It was a male's arm, judging from its size. Suddenly you heard a snore and your heart dropped a beat, still not registering what happened around you. You calmed yourself down by doing a breathing exercise without waking up whoever was sleeping next to you. Once you were calmed, you look at his hand once again. It was striped and rough. Lars, that's what you said in your mind, but why was he sleeping next to you, you asked yourself. Hmm? Ah, he's staying here because of what happened yesterday. But that doesn't explain why he's sleeping next to me. I remember him sleeping on the couch? Eh, I'm tired. I'll worry about this later. You decided that you shouldn't worry about Lars for now. But you couldn't help but look at him, and you felt your heart start thumping faster. He looks peaceful when he's sleeping, even looking like those stray cats you'd found in boxes. He's a bit too close. His fur was a bit unkempt, eyebrows as thick as bushes. There were some bags beneath his eyes. His lips looked, his lips looked soft. You, started to, you stared at his lips for a while. You gently shook your head. Gah, Henry, what are you thinking? Yeah, that's not a good idea. I should go to sleep while I'm still, I still have time. When you looked out the when you looked at the window, the sky was dark, but you could tell that it was already morning. But it seemed like you still had some time, so you decided to sleep more. Ugh! What time is it? Wait, Lars wasn't here? Was I imagining things last night? Now I'm confused. Whatever, I need to know what time it is. It showed 6.40 a.m. when you looked at the time. Still early, huh? Might be able to cook and relax before I go to school. And I wonder where's Lars? You grabbed your phone and suddenly felt the urge to browse something random and maybe inappropriate. Let's see. Find your hostess. <laughs> Share with someone you barely know. So it was someone last night. Not sure if it was a dream. I think this sums up what happened last night. I wonder if the internet has an answer. <laughs> dream boy. Well, you probably had a wet dream last night. I mean, you slept with that someone. Moonstruck. I bet you had quite a great night. Are people always like this on the internet? Yes. Yes, they are. Sep noob. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, get your minds out of the gutter. They meant sleeping next to them. Not, Nan not Andy. <laughs> that's, the, that's the lead dev's name, Andy. And, and, uh, Andy. Andy. I'm going to call you Andy for now. Says the one with the name Sin Nudes. Veron soul. Look for signs. See if there's that person's hair or something. If they're a human, hair can get tricky. They said makes sense. I should check if there's hair or something. Oh, so there's humans in this universe. Okay. Nothing. Well, I should get up now. You got up from the bed and opened the window before you heard a knock on your door. Henry, are you awake? Huh? Uh, Lars? Yeah, I'm awake. Good. Breakfast is ready, so eat it before the food gets cold. Wait, huh? Okay. He didn't say anything, but you could hear footsteps heading towards the kitchen. I guess he went back to the kitchen, and now I know why I smelled something good when I woke up. Wait, we don't have anything at home, so how did he manage to cook breakfast? Wait, no, can Lars cook in the first place? Uh, 
Ugh, my brain isn't 100% up yet. I need, just need to head to the kitchen. Grab some tea or coffee, man. Wake up. Hey, Henry. Did you sleep well? Huh? Oh, yeah, I slept fine. How about you? Pretty good, actually. It's been a while since I had a good amount of sleep. Not to mention I didn't have to worry about wild animals and such. That's good. I'm glad you were comfortable last night. You sat down while you said that. I looked at the food you prepared. Um, uh, I don't remember having these. Where did you get them? Publix. Had some money from volunteer work. I didn't know you get paid for doing that. Usually don't, but they kept insisting to pay me because you know how it is for me. Ah, I see. Hmm. Well, you don't have to get these the next time. I just wanted to repay you for taking me in. Mm-hmm, I know. I Thanks a bunch, Lars. But next time, just tell me and I'll get the groceries. I have a lot of spare money, so that won't be a problem. All right. Those look tasty. I wonder where did you learn to cook them? I've been living alone since 18, so I know how th so I know a thing or two. And now you are... 29. 29. All right. I th thought I told him already. Hmm. Did you say something? Nothing important. Don't mind me. Huh. Okay. So, how's the food? It's really great. I mean, I can't cook, so... Huh. <laughs> I can cook for you if you want. Really? That'll save my life. Then it's settled. You suddenly remembered about this morning while you ate the food Lars cooked for you. Say, Lars? Hmm? Did you sleep in my bed last night? He choked on his food immediately, and you poured a glass of water for him quickly. Hey, hey be careful! Jeez! You looked at him as he gulped down the water. I I'm fine, don't worry about it. Let's let's eat breakfast carefully. Heh, <laughs> says the guy nearly choked to death. Heh. <laughs> kidding, kidding. But seriously, Lars. W what? What is it? This food is great. I can eat this every day. Well, as I said earlier, I'll cook for you. Or if you'd rather I teach you how to cook it, that's fine, too. I'd rather you cook for me. <laughs> I don't want to burn the kitchen. Fair enough. Hmm. Didn't you start finishing up your breakfast? I thought you were going to school soon. Oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot. You ate your breakfast and went to, cl went to clean yourself in the shower. Uh-huh. After you finished cleaning yourself in the shower, you took your time to dry off properly. As you opened the door, you looked around to see if Lars was around. Once you felt it was safe to go out, you ran towards your room and slammed the bedroom door. Henry, everything okay? Hey, all good. Don't worry about it. You got dressed for school and headed to the living room once you were done changing. Lars was sitting on the couch comfortably, staring at the TV. Uh, you know, if you want to watch the TV, just turn it on. I don't mind. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Don't worry about it. So, you going to school now? Yeah. Let me accompany you. Oh, you don't have to do that. I usually walk with myself anyway. Hmm, then I'll see you off. Okay. Be safe, Henry. Will do. Make yourself at home, Lars. Yeah. Right, before I forget, you took the key out of your pocket, then gave him your spare key. That's the key to the house. Since you'll be living here for a while, I thought you'd need it. Ah, uh, you don't have to do that, but thanks. Mm-hmm. Just don't lose the key. We'll be in big trouble if we did. The landlord already gave me a yes. Still, if he asks, just tell him you're my friend or something. He's a curious one. Let's hope he doesn't come today, then, huh? Huh. <laughs> and I'll be careful with it. Thanks. I'm going for real now. Henry. Hmm? Don't tell anyone that I'm staying here if someone asks you, okay? It's okay if you tell people that you're staying with someone, just don't mention my name. Oh, okay. Thanks, Henry. See you later. He headed to the school while Lars stayed at home. Hmm. That's kind of odd. Hmm. Now that Lars doesn't stay here anymore, it feels really different. And I see that whoever owned this house is present. No point staying here, I guess. I gotta go to school. You got the feeling of being watched. It felt like it came from that house. When you looked at the building once more, you noticed one of the window blinds moved a little. That's probably just the wind. Feeling paranoia building up, you quickened your pace to the campus without looking back. You arrived at school earlier than you expected, probably thanks to the paranoia. Upon reaching the university gates, you saw Mark heading to the school building. Mark's early today. I wonder what's up. It seemed like Mark noticed you were there looking at him. He looked back and smiled at you. Good morning, Mark. Morning, Henry. You're early today. It's not that early, anyway. Well, it's my first time seeing you this early. Then again, you've only been here for like, what, five days? Fair enough. Jeez, he's, fe he's feistier than usual. You look a little disorganized. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, really? I'm feeling fine, like usual. Something did happen, though. Don't worry about it. I'm just getting paranoid for no apparent reason at all. It'll pass. Okay, if you say so. How about you? How are you feeling? 
I'm doing okay. A little bit tired. Had a rough night? Heh, <laughs> had a rough night. Can we talk as we walk? Can we walk as we talk? It feels weird standing here and talking while we should be in our class right now. Speaking of which, what class are you taking today? Ah, good point. I think it's related to psychology or something like that. <laughs> Maybe it's Coach Gill's class. Huh? He teaches psychology? Yep. I'll take his class though, so we'll be on our own today. But I don't mind you taking you taking you there, so let's go. Ah. Thanks for the help, Mark. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> don't mention it. I like this music. Very nice and relaxing. Wait. Wait. The reflection doesn't match that. The reflection doesn't match. RTX off. RTX off. Alright. Here's your classroom, and I'll be on the other side of the building if you need something. Don't hesitate to ask me. Or to text me. Here's my number, and I gotta go now. So catch you later. Huh? Wait. He left in a hurry. Well, I got his number, so I'm gonna save it before going in. You saved his number in your contact list and shot him a test message. He replied that he got your number and that he should hurry to his class. I should head into my own class anyway. Upon opening the door, you saw Coach Gill sitting on his chair. Oh, kind of an interesting outfit for a psychology class. Oh, Henry, good morning. Uh, morning, Coach. How are you doing today? Decent. How about you? Pretty much the same. I was feeling a bit uneasy while on my way to school, but it's all gone. I see. What happened? Just getting paranoid. No need to worry about it. Alright. What brings you here, then? What do you mean? I'm taking your class, Coach. You're teaching psychology, aren't you? Of sexual... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hmm? Did you say something, Coach? I teach psychology of sexuality. Uh, is it any different from the class I'm taking? I suppose. What do you actually take today, Henry? Don't give me that psychology answer. I need details. I don't know. Uh, give me your phone. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do you need it? So I can show you your schedule. What else? Uh, I don't really want people playing around with my phone. I don't even know if I had deleted the browsing history, even. What if there's lewds on my phone gallery? What do I do with my phone this morning? I don't remember. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Henry? Sh sure, here it is. Hmm? Let me just... Oh! Why are you op... <laughs> Let me just open the browser. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Henry? You okay there? You look a little pale. I'm f fine, yeah. Once he checked up on you, he went back to open the browser on your phone. His eyes went wide for a second as he tapped on your phone and proceeded to look at you for a brief moment. He felt somewhat uneasy, but you tried not to make it look too obvious. And there we go. He gave you your phone back and acted like nothing happened. You noticed there was another tab opened. Wait, isn't that... Oh god, that's not good. Your class is in the other building, Psych 101. Do you know where it is? Well, I don't. Let me take you there. There's still time before the class starts. You wait outside. I'll tell the other students just in case I'm late. You headed out of the classroom as you put your phone back, feeling ashamed of yourself for not knowing what class you take today. Did I, did I just save it? Save it? Did I? Yes, I did. I think I should tell Mark that I'm not taking Coach Gill's class. Well, let me get my phone. Coach Gill opened the door as you whipped your phone out of your pocket. What are you doing? Me? me? I'm just taking out my phone. Did you have to take it out with such alacrity, though? What kind of a sentence is that? Who says that? You. Did you have to take your phone out with such alacrity? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I don't think so. Uh, let's forget it. Yeah. Feeling ashamed again, you put your phone back to your pocket unenthusiastically while Coach Gill accompanied you to Psych 101 class. Oh boy. And here we are. Uh, this is next to the English classroom. That's exactly where it is. You could have just told me. Well, that won't do. I need to ask you something anyway. Uh-oh. What is it, coach? Would you please explain what that's about? Did you really sleep with someone last night? Who is it? How could you do that? Do your parents know? Uh, first of all, what do you mean by sleep? I don't have to explain it to you, right? You actually do. You know, have sex. I knew it! Huh? Sleep as in shutting down our body, go to sleep, dream, stuff like that. Uh, oh! Oh! I misunderstood. I'm sorry. 
Still, you have to tell me details later, though. Meet me in front of the gate after school. What the fuck? Who the fuck does this? <laughs> class is almost starting. I'll go back to my classroom. Talk to you later, Henry. Yeah, later, coach. Ugh, what bad timing. Of all people, why him? I guess there's no point fussing over it. I'll just deal. Time to head in. After you confirmed that this is the class you're taking, you sat down and listened to the lecture thoroughly. Ah, class ended finally. I wonder if there's anything I should do today. Your mind wanders as you put your books into your bag. When you were done, you headed outside to the hallway. Ugh, I have to meet Coach today. I wonder if he's finished teaching. Something on your mind? Ah, Mark! What's up? Look like you're thinking about something. You, sh you should walk with your head looking forward, not down. And what did you get here? I thought you were in, coach in Coach's class. Huh, I thought I already told you. Really? Let me check my phone. As he fiddled with his phone, you remembered that you didn't send him a text message, beca text message because Coach Gill saw what you did when you took your phone out. Oh, well, anyway, yeah, it wasn't Coach Gill's class I'm taking, but Mr. Smith's. Huh? Oh, Psych 101 then. Yeah, that one. Coach Gill took me here since I didn't know where the class was. Understandable. You should have paid more attention to your own schedule, Henry. Heh, <sighs> lesson learned. But anyway, what's on your mind? Ah, oh, nothing too important, really. Well, tell me anyway. Jeez, why so nosy? He just looked at you, not saying anything. Fine, I guess I can tell you. Yes, yes. I woke up today and I just wanted to browse the web, so I did. Mm-hmm. Opened the browser and browsed something, but I didn't really take it seriously. You know, you know that I went to the wrong classroom earlier, yeah? Yes. So, Coach Gill insisted on using my phone so he could check my schedule. He opened my browser to open the school website. But that's not all. I forgot to close the tab I used to browse the internet this morning. Oof, that must have been awkward. Oh, tell me about it. But what did you browse? If it was something basic, I feel like there's nothing to feel awkward about. Something about someone sleeping in my room. Huh? Please elaborate. I remembered someone slept next to me last night, but in the morning I didn't see anyone. Huh? Are you sharing your room with someone? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. The way you worded it, it sounded like you have someone else in your house. No! Don't lie. I I'm not. You clearly are. You're a bad liar, Henry. Ugh. Huh. Alright, who is it? Um, he told me not to tell anyone that he's staying at my place. So there is someone staying with you after all. Ah! Now tell me, please. Ugh, why do I have to be- why do you have to be so nosy? I just want to know who is staying with you. What if there's someone dangerous? He's not, I think. You don't sound too sure about that. I don't know, he's quick-tempered, somewhat stern and stoic, but I can feel that he's not a bad guy. Is he someone that hurt- is he the someone that hurt your arm? If Mark didn't mention that, you would have forgotten about your bandaged arm. You stood there staring at your arm. Bullseye, huh? Still, you should reconsider, Henry. I don't have any bad intentions by saying this. I just want to make sure you're safe. I believe that he's not a dangerous person. You looked him in the eyes. You tried to convince him. Huh. You're naive one, you know. Sure, I trust your judgment. However, I have to see it for myself. Uh, sure? It's settled. Let's go to your house. Wait, right now? I have to meet up with Coach Gill. Hmm, let's talk with him. Who knows? He might get all interested and join us. Wait, what? What? Let's go. No time to waste. Sure, let's all fucking go to Henry's house, apparently. Wait, listen to me! Ah, he left. You sighed and headed to the school entrance. Why is everyone getting involved in your business? Heck, he's fast. I'm having trouble keeping up with him. Hmm? He looked on your left and noticed that Anders was talking with a teacher. He saw you and smiled before going back to talk with the teacher. He's always busy, the way I see it. I hope he can take it easy sometime. Well, speaking of taking it easy, I wish they'd let me. Shit. I should see what's up with them now. Coach Gill was already talking to Mark by the time you reached the school entrance. Knowing that you wouldn't be able to stop Mark, you just let him do as he pleased. Here he is. Having fun talking about me? Huh? Huh? What do you mean, Henry? I was waiting for you the whole time until I saw Mark heading out. <laughs> you're acting weird today. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I, I'm, I'm feeling good. Carry on. So, Mark, I think Henry and I have something important to discuss. Would you mind if you let us talk in private? Sure, coach. I'll wait. I have plans with Henry, so don't take too long. Gotcha. 
Oh, wait, by the tree, then. So, what's this something important you need to discuss with me? What's your brows today? Uh, what is it about again? Something about sleeping with someone. What about it? Are you really sharing a bed with someone? I don't know. I just thought someone slept next to me. It felt real, but no one was in my room by the time I woke up. Are you living with someone? I thought you were alone the whole time. Right, I haven't told you yet. I knew someone in this area, and he had nowhere to sleep in after they evicted him. And I was there too, so I couldn't just ignore that and offered him to stay at my place. Oh, jeez, I feel sorry for him. How long has he been staying with you? Just yesterday. Oh, that's recent. I see. What's his name? Why do you need to know? Who knows? Maybe it's someone I know. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell anyone. He told me not to tell anyone that he's staying at my place. But why? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I'm going to pause it right there. Oh, this is good. Mm, this is getting a bit intriguing. What's in Lar A Night with the Tiger? Oh! Whoa, whoa, what is this? Oh god, no, stop it. Nice. Mm. Bonk. I need to bonk myself. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of After Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!